Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on the Lunar Trawler for fishing on the Barents Sea. Now if you saw my live stream the other night, you know how much of an effort it is to learn how to do the trawling on this game. So I thought I'd been practicing quite a lot of it, so I thought I'd throw a quick tutorial together to show you exactly how I do it. Now I'm using a PS4 for this tutorial, but it's pretty much the same for all platforms. Um, so you just got to adapt it with the controls. Um, but if you do find this video helpful, please don't forget to drop it a like. And then to stay tuned for any future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, so if you want to go Troy, the first thing you need to do is purchase the Lunar Bow. So to do that, uh, you just go in the dock and you buy the boat. You purchase it, you scroll down until you get to the Lunar Bow and you purchase it. Now, once you have bought it, you need four members of crew minimum to run it. So, if you've got the boat, you've got the crew. We're going to head out and I am going to skip the screen now and just show you where we need to go to do our whole trawling. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have just fast travelled. We've got everything we need. We've got the Luma bow and we've got our four crew members. So you need to then go up to this big green circle area on your map. Now this is what they're calling open sea. And the first thing you need to do is press this button down here in the right hand side that says go to open water. When you press it, you're essentially going to a load screen. And here we are. We are now in open sea now when you're in open sea you don't need to stress about anything because there's nothing you can hit or anything like that so you can just drive around any any direction and crack on with the trawling so we need to head into our little trawling seat back here so the first thing I'm going to show you is the screen now the screen here is where you control everything and you can see exactly what is going on with your trawling so i'm going to show you here so i'm going to start in the top left hand side of the screen so you've got your catch meter that tells you how many fish you've got then next to that i've got my nav screen this tells me what direction i'm going and how fast i'm going um because when you're trawling you want to be going you want to be you'll be end up going about four knots um it all depends on your spider which is the the screen next to it so the spider tells us exactly how our nets are looking and you want everything to be in the green area at the minute it's red because we're not trawling we're not doing anything and then the next thing we've got is coming over to the right we've got the distance this tells us how far away out our nets are at the back of the boat then continuing along the top we've got our sonar that tells you where all your fish are and whatnot like that now on the along the bottom there you can see that we have got two mark two readers for each line now i put the green on my left and the red on my right and that's because on the controls on here you control the starboard line here and the port line here so make it easier green line red line so i set them up on that screen just so i know which one i need to work with okay so now when it comes to the screen things you can have pretty much anything you want on there the most important thing you want to have on there though is the spider now the spider tells you how your nets are looking uh if you go into red then they're not in a great shape but if you keep them in the green then they are a perfect circumference and perfect surface area so you, you're going to catch the most fish on them um the other important thing is probably the sonar uh, which is the big one there which is all blue at the minute because that tells you where the fish are and you can turn your boat if you so wish to to be able to catch the fish and whatnot like that so cracking on with the fishing now the first thing you need to do once you have chosen your little area is you jump on your managed crew 
and you need to put your four guys or your four workers onto sub troll so I'm gonna do that now duh. Duh. there we go so now we've got four people on sub troll then what you want to do is give yourself a bit of speed you don't want to go too fast now I'm doing this in bad weather which probably gonna make it a bit harder for yourself and you want to set yourself a little bit of speed to go forward now like I said you can't hit anything so you don't have to stress too much about that now then very simply set the chalk and as you can see now all of my markers have come into play so that's along the bottom there you've got the length so we're starting the green side you've got the length that's telling me how far the line is out and then the dp2 is telling me the depth of the net so we're going to let them go out now as you can see there my spider oh my spider is saying that i'm going too far so i'm just going to drop the speed down a bit you basically want to try and keep everything with a green dot if you've got any red dots that's telling you you're doing things wrong so then you've got four different markers on there you've got distance there we go it's just popped back in the green there which is telling me i'm going at about a good a half decent speed so you've got the distance which is telling you how far the lines away which is the dst which i've got next to the spider there the depth and then the depth of each one you want them around 150 meters and then the symmetry is going to be a combination of changing the depth of each one so as you can see that i'm just going to let my lines grow and get that circumference looking lovely now just while they're going out you can see there now on the sonar that we have got different markers now it's slightly different to the pc the pc is a really nice sonar screen but for some reason on the console it's a bit of a, a glitchy jumpy sort of screen and it looks a bit of a mess um, i'm hoping that gets sorted out um, in the future but at the minute this is what we got to work with now with the current state in the sonar it makes it very difficult to be able to adjust everything because everything takes a couple of seconds to respond on the sonar and on, on unlike on pc where it's quite a a quick scenario now so we're letting our lines go out and as you can see there the distance is going out nicely but we haven't got a good depth yet so we're going to keep them going out and just leave them go to it now as my lines are out i can now get my workers into rest you want to make sure they're still nice and rested ready for and i'm going to give them some food as well keep your workers happy oh, oh. Duh. Duh. so as you can see i've got six guys i've got one constantly cooking one constantly repairing and i've got four guys working and out oh and there we go look you can see there that we're taking in some fish quite quickly with this now and uh, we've only just started it now when it comes to this you just need to keep an eye on it when you get to about 60 to 80 percent that's when you want to start bringing the line in otherwise you're just going to waste what you get now if you get to a point where you only got around 40 percent fish and you're dragging along and dragging along and you're not catching anything don't be afraid to pull them in change your direction and reset them um i find it quicker when i like we all experience those times so i find it quicker to bring it in change my angle and reset and get another 40 percent than what it does to actually just keep trawling in the same direction um but of course that's entirely up to you you can keep going and trying and adjust and turn but i find it a bit of a, a bit of a pain myself i can i can figure out the up and down but i can't figure out the turning just because my sonar just as you can see there it's it's very glitchy and very slow to respond so if you change angles a lot it just goes all p tongue so i'm going to keep letting the line out as you can see there my distance is coming up but my speed is maybe a tad low i want to try and get it right on the edge if i can because as you can see you've got a, like a dotted dotted lines you want to try and get your circles as close onto that as possibly can to get the best circumference 
we're going to keep letting our lines go out until we get to 150. Once we get to 150, I then concentrate even more on trying to get the symmetry right in the spider. At the minute now, we've got what our lines are out 275, yeah, 270 odd meters, and we're out of depth of 95 meters. You want the depth down to about 150 meters, it's between about 150 and 170. Um, you don't want to go too deep because if you go too deep, you're just not going to catch anything and you're, you might cause trouble with the line. So just keep it at that distance. So you pretty much just keep plowing through this now. I'm going to fast forward a bit until my lines are out at 150s. So I'll come back and we'll look, start looking then at the symmetry. Back in a minute. Okay, so we've come back now, and as you can see, uh, we are down to about 160 meters. So I'm going to hold both of my lines here, and just let them hold that angle. Now, hopefully, this will bring... In the DST there, there we go, look, because I've stopped bringing my lines out. You can see that they're now starting to find a bit of a... They're coming in a little bit which is great which has come out at perfect time almost because this is where now we're coming into a big clump of fish there you can see right in front of me there on the sonar screen so uh, i'm just going to let these lump of fish pass me by and then we're going to have a look at the symmetry of the spider so as you can see there they're coming up 173, 169, 66, 64. So we're going through it, we're going to let them push through and this should hopefully get my fish intake right up. Oh, my lines are starting to split. Oh, as you can see there, let's get a bit more speed up, keep trying to keep that little bit of symmetry up. Oh, this should fill us up quite nicely. Once that passes, hopefully you'll see everything's in the green at the minute my, in my spiders, so everything should be good. We're going to let this go past 88, 87, and then all of a sudden you should start seeing my catch reader going up. So we're about to hit two massive clumps. We're actually doing quite nicely. So let's see them come out. Is it going to go up? Go on, baby. So this is kind of a where a, a bit of luck comes into it. There we go. It's going up. It's starting to go up. It didn't go up. Oh, it's gone. So it's it's kind of a luck thing anyway. Right. So what we're going to look at now, we're going to look at the symmetry. So as you can see there, the right side is slightly in and it isn't quite perfect. So what I want to do, I want to try and get that in. So. I'm going to bring my right line in, and let's go back on it. Nope, it's going in there, so I'm going to put it out instead. And hopefully, oh, there we go. You can see it's starting to drift out now. Yeah, you can just see that last circle starting to drag out on the on the spider. And then when it's out to a perfectly, when it goes out perfectly, there you go, that's all about right, so we'll stop that, go in, and there we go, my symmetry is looking good, I could use a bit more speed, so I'm going to pump the speed up a little bit and there we go so we've got a good symmetry now all you need to do is trawl around so we're going to look at the sonar now the sonar meter is telling you where the fish are and you can steer the boat in order to go and meet the clumps of fish which, which you can see pulling up on my sonar now the little lines that go across 
are telling me where the closest biggest clump of fish are. Now it works on opposites. So if your sonar is showing it on the right side of the screen, you need to pull your cursor to the left in order to bring it in line. Now when you do this though, it's really important that you don't do it too, too much too quick because what's going to happen then is that the nets are just going to go haywire and you're going to lose all your symmetry and everything's going to go pitong. So, now when it comes to doing this, me personally at the minute I haven't mastered the steering side of things. So, I tend to just keep going straight and just keep an eye on that symmetry. If I start to see things going wrong like it is there, it's saying I need a bit more speed. I just try and keep my symmetry in and hope that I get a bit of luck. Which sometimes comes, which sometimes doesn't. Now, however, so what I was saying to you earlier about this whole situation is if you get to about 40% and you're like you're still trawling after a very long time, don't be afraid to bring your nets in, reset, change the driving angle slightly and reset them in. But as you can see there now, I've got a nice clump coming towards me. And they're slightly below the squares. Which is great. Which I'm hoping is going to mean that... Oh. Going a bit of p on that. So I'm going to lower that one a bit. And try and bring that symmetry back in. As you can see, my symmetry is coming back in a little bit there. And you just got to keep an eye on it and just really go it is, it's back into normal. So there's that. And there we go, we got perfect symmetry there. So I'm going to see how this clump, we're going to let this clump that's coming up pass. And once they pass, I'm going to show you how to bring it in. Now, like I said, it's up to you. You can just keep drawing in this one direction and just keep an eye on the symmetry and hope that you hit something. Or you can try and master the, the boat steering. Now, I haven't mastered that yet, and I've been doing this a little while. So it is going to be one of those things that are going to take time and going to take patience. you just got to be patient with this. Now, if you can achieve your 80% haul, that will fill up about half the storage in the boat. Now, there's no freezer in that on this, so you have about seven days in order to get the fish back to port and into market. Now, when you take them into market, there's no gutting with this. You simply just sell them as they come, which it would be nice if you could gut them, but I suppose it would be a lot of fish to gut, so they've just left it as that. So I'm just going to let this clump go past and hope it's going to shove my... Oh, it looks like it's going to be a beauty. So as you can see there, the doors, my nets are signified by the boxes on the sonar. you got the port side, which of course is my left side of my boat. And we've got my starboard, which is on the right side of the boat. So we're going to let this pass and hopefully this is going to smash me right up. My symmetry is perfect. I could maybe put the speed up a little bit. So let's do that. And now we just hope. Oh, drum roll please. If this nails in nicely we'll be laughing. So is that done it? Okay, it hasn't budged in the slightest. That's slightly disappointing. I thought that would move, but clearly something isn't quite right there. But anyway, so now when it comes to bringing the net in, very simply, all you need to do is jump back on your phone, go, uh, start bringing the net in. So put them both on in, like so. Now, you cannot collect your nets, as you can see here, until they are within 25 meters of the ship. 
which is this one here, the DST. So once your DST is at 25 meters or below, you can then bring in the nets. So when that gets close, all you're going to do is get your resting workers back on the hauling, uh, the haul trawl, and then bring them in. So I'm just going to fast forward again until the nets are at that stage so that you can see what happens when you get there. So I'll be back in a second. So there we go, my lines are coming in nicely. As you can see there, I'm just passing over the top of a, a school of fish there. So I've kind of maybe come out a bit early, but this is just basically for the benefit of the tutorial. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you get it good, sometimes it goes, you come in too early and whatnot like that. Um, but it is entirely up to you how early you bring the lines in. You can leave them out as long as you want and attempt to do all the steering and everything like that. You have got the sonar to tell you at what degree. So as you can see there, going across the top of the screen, uh, at the minute there is at 43, 44 degrees. Um, that works in relation to your traveling degree on the navigation system. So at the minute it's saying that I'm traveling on a due north course, but as you change it, turn left and right. So if it's saying it's at 40 degrees, that means it is going to be more towards the northeast. And then if I travel in that direction, turn my boat into that direction, I should be able to line up with that clump. You just got to be really careful with it. So. My lines are almost pretty much in, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my workers and we're going to bring them in to the hall. You need all four to go in there. Do it. And then once they're all in there, you check your meter, there we go, I'm at 23 meters, so I can now haul in the trawl nut. When you haul in the trawl net, all it's going to do, it all goes electronic and your workers do most of it. So in a second, there we go. Now when it comes to the net, it doesn't matter if you bring in 100% or 20%, the, the circumference on the net itself is always going to be the same. The only thing that's going to be different is when it comes up with the reading with how many fish you've got. And there we go, that's how many fish I have got. So then, okay, and job's a winner. Now, once you have released the net, only then is it safe for you to go back to return to port. So you press return to port once you've done with all your trawling, and then you can head back Go to the port that you wish and sell your fish on. Now, even though I have only come out with, there you go, with a small amount, oh, there you go, small amount of fish, well, that was a 40% haul. Even with a 40% haul, you still earn a fair bit of money. Oh. So let's take this in the port. So we're just going to use our side thrusters, which comes in these big boats, which is amazing. And get the spin on. And then once you can, there we go, go into port. There we go. So we're still earning just over 
million corona for a 40 percent haul which isn't that bad and then you sell them off jobs a winner if you want to then refuel your ship and then head back out and repeat the process again so it's entirely up to you how you do it but that's pretty much how the easiest way about this game let's just make sure my boat is fully out of that little zone yeah oh no it's not quite out yet according to this still not out but yeah so that's pretty much it that is hauling in there you go that is hauling on the balance c here on the on the console now um i hope you found this tutorial useful um if you did please don't forget to give it a like and if you would like to stay tuned or come and join in any of my live streams of the game don't forget to subscribe um but that's pretty much it for this uh like i said you can bring the haul in whenever you like you can bring it in when it's full or you can bring it in when it's 40 percent it's entirely up to you the main things that you gotta remember is to make sure you go into open water it took me about 20 minutes to figure that out uh, which is going to be in the same place at the where you can go in the port click on that and then when you're in here the only other main thing that you need to remember is having the main things on the screen which is going to be the spider the dst the length and the dp2 and the cat sequence just remember as well that your left side your controls on your left side are going to control the starboard nets and the controls on your right side are going to control your port nets or green on the left red on the right well that's pretty much it i hope you found this useful thanks for coming to check this video out don't forget to subscribe and like and um i'll see you all again soon for another video here on the balance sea bye for now